Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. Um, I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ shed his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. That's where our faith lies. Nowhere else but in the blood of Jesus. It's grace through faith in Christ alone. Is grace that God gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. It is not of works. We don't come to him saying, Lord, Lord, I repent, I repent, I repent. I got water baptized. I got this. I got that. It is not of ourselves. Least any man should boast. For with the heart man believes. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's simple. It's, the gospel is very simple. And there is no excuse for anyone not accepting Christ as Savior right now. Um... I got an article to do, and I'm going to place it on Rumble later on today. And yes, it is about what you think it is. The reason whatever happened to me happened. So, but I have another, I'm going to place that on Rumble. And if you look on Rumble, uh, I do have an account there. So, it's Watch Woman 65. But I'm coming to you, and I'm going to let you know, you people better accept Christ as Savior because you have no clue what's about to happen. People have no clue what's about to take place. And I'm going to give you the article right now of why I say what I say. I'll give you the other article on Rumble later. Former top Facebook official... And this is why I don't like Facebook, and I know a lot of people write me on Facebook, but I'm seriously considering canceling Facebook because it's going to get harder and harder to post stuff on there. I'm just being real. Former top Facebook official warns conservative content extremely radical and needs to be removed. This is why I say you need, this is why I give the gospel. Because those who are his, we know what's happening and we know what's going to happen. All this is being set up. All these platforms are going to be removed after the rapture. That, that's just the bottom line. All of these platforms are going to be removed. And if they're not removed, they're going to be very, very, very strict on what you post. If you have any internet access at all. Former top official at Facebook was recently a guest on Clowns News Network, CNN. Or Clinton's News Network, CNN. And openly declared that Television service providers should stop airing conservative content and cited TV networks like One American News and Newsmax. According to The Blaze, Alex Stamos, who was the former chief security officer at Facebook, was speaking on CNN's reliable source and stressed that telecommunications giants like Com uh, Comcast, uh, AT&T, and Verizon need to censor right-leaning content. <laughs> they already are. We have to turn down, he said that we have to turn down the capability of these conservative influencers to reach these huge audiences, citing right-wing YouTubers who have large, larger audiences than daytime uh, Clowns News Network. Which is true. <laughs> he went further and stated, they're extremely radical and pushing extremely radical views. Stamos claimed, it is up to Facebook and YouTube in particular to think about whether or not they want to be effectively 
to be effectively cable networks for disinformation, Stamos continued. And then we have to figure out the OANN and Newsmax problem, that these companies have freedom of speech. But I'm not sure we need Verizon, AT&T, Comcast, and such to be bringing them into tens of millions of homes. This is allowing people to seek out information if they really want to by not pushing it into their faces. I think is really where we're going to have to go here. Like I said, people don't really know what's coming. You really have no clue what's about to happen. Stamos also warned that the information age, along with massive social media platforms, has created an environment of echo chambers where people can selectively choose to consume only information that confirms their narratives while ignoring any information that contradicts what they believe. Sorry about that. Stamos also Stamos claims that this type of environment provides an incentive for media companies to become more and more radical. One of the places you can see this is on the fact that you can now have competitors to Fox News on their right. OAN and Newsmax, which are carried by all major cable uh, networks who are trying now to outflank Fox News on the right because the moment Fox introduced any kind of realism into their reporting, immediately a bunch of people choose to put themselves into a sealed ecosystem, Stamos said. They can do they can do that on both they can do that both on cable. They can do it online, and that becomes a huge challenge in figuring out how do you bring people back into the mainstream of fact-based reporting and try to get us back into the same consensual reality. This, I'm telling you, you have no clue what's coming. That's why it's best to get saved. Hence the word saved in Christ. Because he saves us for salvation and what's coming on this earth. It started, folks. It's here. It's here. I will be back, and I will, uh, like I said, I'm going to put up another uh, video later on. And I will let you know when it's going to be. Because I have quite a bit to say. But of course... The powers that be, I can't say too much, but like I said, that's what I'll do. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to link this article in the description box. To put it in a, to put it in street terms, uh, your freedom of speech is gone. It's long gone. And it's going to get worse. A lot worse. Um, period. Um, but I will be back later. And I, like I said, I will let you know uh, when I'm putting that out. Have a nice morning. Thank you.